if you assume any improvement at all over time, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. For thousands of years, we have wondered about our place in the universe. From the first cavemen to enter the Stone Age, to the astronauts taking humanity's first footsteps on the moon, we have grown ever more curious with every new thing we learn. While attempting to extend our reach across the stars and strengthen our understanding of the cosmos, we have always asked ourselves questions such as, Are we alone? Where did we come from? What is our true purpose? However, today we will focus on asking ourselves the question, What if everything we know is fake? At the beginning of the modern era, Erwin Schrödinger was having a conversation with the renowned physicist Albert Einstein. It was in this conversation where Schrödinger had the need to explain his problems with the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. In order to explain these problems, he led Einstein on perhaps what is the most famous thought experiment of all time, Schrödinger's cat. Long story short, Schrodinger's cat imagines a sealed box that contains a cat, a flask of poison, and a Geiger counter connected to a radioactive source, such as the nucleus of an atom. At any point, the atom could decay, causing the counter to increase, and if this were to happen, then the flask would shatter and the cat would be poisoned. The intrigue of this thought experiment comes in determining whether the cat survives or not. Since the box is sealed, there is no way of observing either the Geiger counter or the cat. As time goes on, the likelihood of the cat's survival decreases, however it never fully reaches zero. Because of this, the cat is in a state of superposition, being both dead and alive, and it will remain in this state until the box is open and an outcome is observed. While it would take years for the accomplishments of this experiment to be realized, there is no doubt that it sets a precedent about the uncertainty that quantum mechanics adds to our world. Transitioning to nearly 70 years later, 2003 saw the first formally published papers highlighting these uncertainties and shedding light on a new possibility for the universe's secrets. The paper titled, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation?, is one of the most recognized works of Nick Bostrom, a Swedish philosopher and theoretical physicist who works at the University of Oxford. The argument introduces three propositions, of which at least one is to be true. The first argument, civilizations go extinct before they can create a simulation. The second argument, any advanced civilization has no interest in simulating their ancient history. And the third argument, we are almost certainly living in a computer simulation. Other propositions exist, such as the creation of universe simulations are not possible. However, for the sake of this video, we will be focusing on the original three. Bostrom wrote this paper on the belief that future civilizations can and will create simulations of their ancestors, and that they will create possibly up to thousands of these simulations. If these beliefs are true, and consciousness itself is able to be programmed into a simulation, the likelihood of us living in base reality is resoundingly small, creating an existential feeling and anyone who dares to imagine such a possibility. Much like the presence of a god, the simulation theory cannot be proven nor disproven. However, there exists a lot of evidence pointing towards our universe being completely artificial. Elon Musk, as seen at the beginning of the video, is an avid supporter for the simulation theory. He states that when he was younger, the most advanced video game was Pong, a game made up of just a few shapes and the most basic physics, compared to modern games which can take advantage of the possibilities offered by advanced software such as the recently developed Unreal Engine 5. In December of 2021, the first trailer for the new The Matrix Awakens game was launched, and we saw perhaps the first video game that many believed, to a degree, to be indistinguishable from reality. Take these video games mixed with the unseen future technological advancements in virtual reality and brain-computer interfacing, and we get video games that are real, or at least would be to any of its players. Think of it like a dream. If you dream that you're a bird, oftentimes you would not realize you're dreaming until after the fact. So how do you know that right now, you are not just a bird who is dreaming about being a human? This way of cheating consciousness would allow the creators of a simulation to trap sentient beings inside without them knowing any difference. The deeper we dive into simulation theory, the easier it is to find things that seem like concrete evidence. The famous physicist Michio Kaku believes that humanity will last into the far reaches of the future. However, he is openly against simulation theory as he believes that the only computer capable of simulating the universe is the universe itself. He argues that simulating the vastness of the universe would require more computing power than scientifically possible. 
However, the backers of simulation theory have come up with a clever yet compelling answer to this argument. Video games more often than not only render the environment which a player can interact with. For example, on a busy street you would see buildings and vehicles, but unless you were to actually go inside of them, they are nothing but detailed facades. This same technique of saving computational power can be applied to a universe simulation. Along with this, video games normally have a constant limit on how much can be rendered at once. Many supporters of simulation theory say that this explains the universal speed limit of the speed of light. By spreading objects out by multiple light years and setting a cap on the speed of light, you are able to limit a civilization's potential to travel throughout space, at least in accordance with our current understanding of the universe. While this evidence is taken from artificial worlds, there exists a very popular physics experiment that has led many others to the same conclusion, the double slit experiment. By shooting tiny particles such as electrons or photons through two slits on a screen, you get two respective bars of light. However, when you are not observing the outcome, you would see a wave interference pattern on the screen. What does this mean? When you are actively observing the outcome of the experiment, you will see one bar of light for each slit, representing the particles passing through the slit onto the screen. But when the experiment's outcome is not being observed, the particles instead act as a wave, and due to the cancelling out of one another would produce an interference pattern on the screen. This concept is known as wave-particle duality, and for hundreds of years this problem has stumped scientists, and even to this day it continues to hold back the secrets of the universe. Universe. Assuming the third proposition, we are almost certainly living in a computer simulation, is true, it is very interesting to think about all of the technicalities of creating and running a universe scale simulation. A civilization could recreate a perfect replica of their own universe, or perhaps tweak just a few of the parameters to experiment, or even create a completely new kind of universe just to see what is possible. The danger of this assumption, as mentioned before, is that our chance of living in base reality would be near zero. At this point, the only question that remains is how deep does the rabbit hole go? What is the limit for how many simulations could possibly exist? How does time work relative to other simulations? How would someone prove whether or not they are in a simulation? The answer to the last of these questions is often regarded as you can't. But what about the few who do believe? They believe that in the reality of any universe, the concept of perfection will always be abstract. They believe that even in a simulation like this, one that is indistinguishable from reality, there are occasional glitches. Glitches in the simulation are the scapegoat for many psychological phenomena that we experience. Deja vu is a French term to describe the feeling as though you have already lived through a present moment. Or the Mandela Effect, a phenomenon where you vividly remember something in the past that is either different or completely wrong from what actually occurred. This is a prime example of the main attraction of the simulation theory. Much like a preacher arguing with an atheist, anything in the universe could be used as evidence to support your own belief. But as humans, it is within our nature to ask these questions, to search for a truth among the vast unknowns of the universe. So, are you living in a simulation? Probably not, but you'll never know for sure. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let us know in the comment section down below whether you think we are living in a simulation or not. If we are living in a simulation, but we believe it is real, then what is real? Perhaps in a place like the universe, the term real doesn't exist. Maybe none of the terms we use to describe the universe really exist. Time could be a construct of our minds, and the universe a forever living entity that has no end nor beginning. Spatial dimensions could be but canvases for the laws of physics to describe concepts that we can't even begin to understand. You could spend a lifetime trying to prove the simulation theory and come up with nothing. However, on the other side of this coin, you could also wake up and find yourself outside of the simulation, experiencing true reality, but with this newfound discovery and awakening, the memories of your past and the remnants of the real you would more than likely fade away.